Of the extinct mammal species, beavers without a shadow of a doubt the most important because they are water gardeners. They're the animal that, that takes a landscape that's been entirely shaped by us and starts to restore that landscape to a stage where it can be used again by nature. The amazing thing about beavers is that while they're out there being busy, they're doing and behaving in a way that replicates some of the things that the water companies are actually out there doing to manage our waterways to increase the water quality, to reduce peak flow and to avoid flooding. The village of Laddock downstream of us actually floods about every 10 years or so and in fact in the winter of 2012-13 it flooded twice in the space of a month. We analysed all the different actions that the Environment Agency said we could take. It turned out very quickly all of those actions could actually be done by the beaver. The beavers would be introduced to the area in an enclosure that would allow them a large, naturally diverse area to roam. This would be the first place, certainly, that we actually physically would let beavers go into because it's uh, some ready-made habitat for them. Where the overspill for the pond goes, uh, there's obviously quite a, a lot of noise of rushing water, and I suspect that's where the beavers would actually uh, do their work first uh, because apparently they react to the sounds and currents of running water. The Woodland Valley site gives us a really good opportunity for doing scientific research. We've got a whole team of academics from different universities that have been working on this. Hitherto we haven't seen uh, monitoring experiments set up before the animals are introduced to the sites, certainly not in England and Wales. And so in, in doing this experimental, setting up this experimental design, we're going to learn how the system operates, how the river flows, when it rains heavily, what the quality of that water is, before we put the beavers in and they start to engineer the, the ecosystem. So we know that the climate is changing and there are going to be potentially more and more of these extreme weather events and potentially we might see more flooding in Cornwall. So if we can use uh, ecosystem engineers like the beaver to help us mitigate for some of that climate change and help us mitigate for some of those effects of climate change on uh, local populations and local communities, then that's going to be a really large benefit, I think. So the Cornwall Beaver Project is very, you know, very important in that it demonstrates a different thing. And what we'd like to think in the end will come from that project is an actual credible demonstration that, 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 that in this landscape, the beaver dam systems have, have an absolute impact on the damage to properties lower down. Because if you can demonstrate that, then you're looking at a very significant you know, economic imperative indeed for the restoration of this species. But before we do that, we need to enlist your help and your support in actually getting the funds together to make this happen.